All right, let's finish up long div synthetic division with one final example. So we're going to use synthetic division to find the quotient and remainder. For 2x to the 6 plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 1, and we're going to divide it by x plus 1. We can use synthetic since this is linear. All right, again, if it's not linear for the one you're dividing by, um, you got to go back to long division. So I'm going to add the missing terms to the um, top one first. So 2x to the 6th, we're missing x to the 5th, so 0x to the 5th. Uh, we're missing x to the 4th, so 0x to the 4th. We have the cube term. We have the square term. And we have a constant term, so we're missing the x term. And then minus 1. So make sure you include all the missing terms or synthetic division does not work. The zeros must be there. So let's set it up. So on the outside will be a negative 1 because x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals negative 1. So the 0 is what goes on the outside. And then all these constants go on the inside. Include the zeros and don't miss negative signs. So 2, 0, 0, 3, negative 4, 0, negative 1. Let's just go for it. So we bring the 2 down, and then we multiply. Negative 1 times 2 brings me to negative 2. And then we just add the row, so we get negative 2. Or so add the column. And then we do negative 1 times negative 2, and we get 2. Add them, and we get 2. Negative 1 times positive 2 gives me negative 2. And then 3 plus negative 2 is 1. So we're always just adding the columns. 1 and negative 1 gets me negative 1. Combine them and we get negative 5. Negative 1 times 5 is positive 5. Combine them and we get 5. And then negative 1 and 5 multiplied brings me back to negative 5. And we get negative 6 as our remainder. The last one is always the remainder. All right, and then let's see. Since this was x to the sixth, this is now x to the fifth, and everything is just one degree less. And then the last one's a constant. So my quotient will be 2x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared, right? 1x squared is just x squared, minus 5x plus 5. That's our quotient. And then minus the remainder over x plus 1. Well, plus the remainder, but the remainder has a negative sign. And that is synthetic division. Um, if you like long division better, you can try it. Um, and you will get the same answer. I do recommend practicing synthetic division because in the next section, It'll be really useful and it will save you a lot of time. So let me know if you have questions. Uh, it's weird. It's weird to watch. It's not, this isn't a spectator sport. You got to just do it. Just like sports, right? You just got to do it. You do it over again and you'll get used to the pattern. It might not be intuitive in the beginning, but you'll get used to it. So just do it over and over. All right. See you back for 3-3.